Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. When I did a study on the word blessed, I noticed that several verses sounded very similar. Like, blessed are all those who put their trust in him. Or, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Or, blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust. Or, O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. Or, blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. So what does it mean to trust God? And how are we blessed because of it? Trust is not only believing, but putting action to that faith. When I first started my job, the ladies at my work had a team building event planned. So I guess it was my second day at work when we all went to one of those places that's kind of like Chuck E. Cheese on steroids, where they have all sorts of different activities. Three of us chose to do the ropes course, which was a set of different kind of obstacles high above everyone's heads. We geared up with harnesses, and my boss and a co-worker sent me to go first. Now, I'd been on a ropes course before, and I knew how it worked. You're securely attached with a rope above your head. If you slip and fall, you just hang there. So I was happily climbing around on different obstacles when I looked back and saw my coworkers having a hard time. They used one hand to cling to the rope and one hand to help them with the obstacles. And it wasn't working so well for them. They didn't trust that the rope and the harness would keep them safe. They let fear handicap them. I trusted the rope and harness to protect me if I slipped and fell, so I could boldly and confidently step out into the obstacles, even enjoy doing so, whereas they didn't look like they were having all that much fun. They did it, but hesitantly, fearfully. I wanted to try out all the obstacles, but they just seemed to want to get it over with. When we trust God, we are blessed because we can step out confidently in faith, knowing God's promises and allowing them to be our rope, our safety harness, We can see obstacles as exciting adventures instead of things to be feared or avoided. We can be bold. Trusting God is knowing that he'll catch us when we fall, so we're not afraid, and we can put our faith into action. As Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, You should trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Those paths will have obstacles on them. But when you know the Lord is right beside you, that trust makes those obstacles adventures. Is your life blessed because you trust the Lord? What is he calling you to trust him about today? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.